Hello everyone and welcome to Yes Guy Gaming. Today I'm going to go through a quick tutorial about how to set up a Game Boy Advance emulator onto your PC computer. It's really quick and easy and it's not that complicated but there are just a few specific steps that you got to go through just to make sure everything works properly. So the first thing we're going to do is download our emulator file. Um, this is one of my favorite sites to use it's called emulatorzone.com um, and I'll put the link to this page in the description but you just go up here click this download right here Visual Boy Advanced this one right here you click download that and that'll download and that'll go right into your downloads folder onto your computer um, then next we're gonna need to get a game file so this is the site that I like to use I like it's called emuparadise.me um, there's lots of other sites out there to get your game files um, but this is the one that I like to use they sort alphabetically and they've got the most downloaded and top rated but we're gonna go ahead here and click Pokemon Fire Red um, it's gonna take you to this screen where you wanna click this highlighted link here download links It'll take you down the page where you want this direct download links right here. You click on that. It'll take you to another page where you want to scroll down a bit and you want this direct download. That's what you want right there. So you click on that, take a few seconds, and that'll download into your downloads folder as well. Now, what we're going to need to open up these files for the emulator in the game is a, a specific type of program. Um, WinRAR is the program that I use for that. There's a couple others like it, but uh, I think WinRAR is the most popular. Um, so you've got to go on here, um, click to download this and install it. You just got to be careful um, which type of WinRAR file you're going to need, whether you're running a 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit. Now luckily there's an easy way to find out. All you need to do is go to your control panel under system and security and then under system um, it should say right here your uh, system type 64-bit operating system. That's my operating system type. Yours might be 32. But then you come to the WinRAR site here, again, I'll put the link to this page in the description, um, and you just click on the type of file and your language, um, and the 32-bit or 64-bit file that you need. Once you've got WinRAR downloaded and installed, what I like to do is I like to make a couple of folders um, for myself. Uh, I, I titled this one Nintendo Game Boy Advanced Emulator, and I put this on my desktop just so it's easily accessible whenever I need it. And then I go to my downloads folder, and you can see here my two files in the downloads folder here. So I'm going to take both of those and move those to my selected folder. Um, and you can put this folder wherever you want, just making sure it's somewhere where you're going to be able to get at it easily if you want to play. And then because we've got WinRAR installed, all we need to do is right click onto our emulator file, file here and click extract here. So that'll open up the file, um, empty its contents into this folder. Um, then we do the exact same thing with the Pokemon Fire Red file. So we'll extract here and then out will pop the game file. So then all we need to do is start up the emulator, which is this uh, little Game Boy icon here, the Visual Boy Advanced. Open that up, and it'll pop up a little mini screen right there. It will bring over here. Then all we need to do is hit File, Open, and then it'll take us right to the folder we're in and select the Pokemon Fire Red file. So we'll open that up, and there it is. If you want to enlarge the, uh, the screen size, you just go to Options, Video, and then it says Times 2, 3, or 4. Um, times 4 will enlarge it and make it pretty big um, so you can see everything. It'll be the perfect uh, ratio for you. And there you have it. That's how you set up a Game Boy Advance emulator onto your PC computer. If you guys have any questions or are having any issues, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to try to help you guys out as best I can. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this tutorial helps some of you guys out and that we can all enjoy some of the great Game Boy Advance games on your PC computer. But thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you next time on Yes Guy Gaming.